My name is Brian Frank, um, and I'm a documentary photographer. I've been doing a lot of assignment work recently, and I plan on doing a lot more. I really enjoy the challenge of bringing my style to something that is not the most obviously visual situation. Making something visual and different, I think that's what I bring to the table. I see the world as this contrasty place. There's a lot of haves and have-nots, and a lot of really bright, amazing things and bright, amazing people, but there's also a lot of darkness out there in the world. And I wanted to find a way to address it. And the way that I found to address that was through photography. I just found the camera to be this tool that just became the part of my body that let me just expose these problems that I saw. I've always loved the faces and, and old faces. And I've always been interested in how the street is this place that is like our jungle. And in order to really understand what's happening, you have to slow it down and look at its characters. And with my portraiture, that's what I've tried to do, take people and stop them in this, on the street and, and show how they're an aspect of this jungle that we live in. Something that I do with my work is I really try to take a different angle on the everyday. I, I really try to stay away from the expected Making pictures that you have to take a minute to look at and experience is something that's going to be more powerful than looking at a picture and just right away knowing exactly what you're looking at. I try to always have the content of the image in there because that is what we're doing, providing information and getting the message across. But I want people to look at my images and arrive at that important part of the image, not just get it and move on. A very common way that I make pictures is finding a setting that, for whatever reason, a beautiful setting. It's the background that I'm, that I'm interested in portraying, and it has light coming in pools in the places that I really see as important to this picture, and I can sit there for an hour. Maybe I said there were two hours. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like fishing. And wait for puzzle pieces to fall into place. When you do that, all of a sudden, magic happens if you have enough patience. And then that's the photograph. Even with my portraiture, I do that a little bit. I start with the setting, and maybe I'll start with that setting, and, and someone will walk through it. I just need to stop and make a portrait of them, because it's their power in that setting that's really important. A lot of the documentary work that I've worked on in the last couple years has been black and white. Besides the fact that the subject matter lent itself to this grittier black and white feel, I also really enjoy using the older manual film cameras. One of the reasons for this is simply because on the street level, for many reasons, the use of an old Leica doesn't arouse fear in people. It's something that people look at it as something that's non-threatening. It's also not seen as something that is expensive and it, it allows for completely different pictures. The subjects just stop interacting with the camera, which is what I don't want them to do. I, I want subjects to interact in their natural way. And using the older cameras really helps me achieve that, especially on the street. Light and composition play a very important part, even in my color photography. It really allowed me to have fun. I work a lot with these dark reds blues, these, these darker colors, and I think that it actually kind of relates back to my black and white. I see the world like that. I see the world as this contrasty place. My name is Brian L. Frank, and I'm a photographer represented by Redux Pictures.